There is a month left before big changes in figure skating. In June, ISU will hold the first full-fledged Congress in four years, the pandemic prevented previous attempts. Post-Olympic Congresses are always special if in the middle of the cycle officials are not inclined to radically rewrite the rules because they are constrained by the upcoming Olympics, then immediately after the Games the degree of radicality increases. The agenda is already known, Russia proposes to tighten the conditions for the transfer of athletes to other federations, the amendment was proposed even before the suspension of skaters from competitions, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, to increase the age limit for ISU officials, Hungary, to arrange junior championships of Europe and four continents. One of the main issues is the gradual increase of the age limit to 17 years for the next Olympiad. But some innovations became known in advance. A new choreographic element has been introduced in ice dancing jumping with the help of an assisting partner for adult dancers. The mandatory pattern was removed, the main measure of the technical skill of duets, a special reason for reducing the allowances for the quality of the jump will now be the change of the edge between jumps in the cascade and the touch of the ice with the free foot, and the concept of bad separation was given an additional interpretation, the sequence is planned to be equalized in the evaluation with the cascade, but this amendment will come into force only if it is approved by Congress. The main impression from the latest ISU communiques is a complete lack of consistency in approaches. If the judging of singles is supposed to become stricter, how it will work in practice is another question, then the layouts of the dancers after the cancellation of the pattern will be even more subjective. Bettina Popova has already drawn attention to this. The pattern dance according to one drawing is an opportunity for the judges to see who covers the clearing, who knows how to use skating skills. When this is not the case, you can play with the rules and design the program for yourself so as to hide the flaws, to show that people can skate when in fact they can't. In fact, it was the pattern that was the main tool for technical comparison of duets with each other after the cancellation of compulsory dances. In his absence, judging will become even more subjective, if not manipulative, and the quality of skate ownership, which has always distinguished dancers, will most likely begin to fall if the rule is fixed for a long time. Loyalty to the dancers, apparently, should be compensated by the complication of the requirements for singles in greenhouses, which are proposed to be punished by subtracting from one to two points in go, for changing an edge, and putting the second leg in the cascade. In addition, the ISU clarified what is meant by a bad breakaway for a jump, from one to three in go, extra turns are nice, as well as pushing off with an edge on jagged jumps, for example, the execution of a sheepskin code in the axle technique. Over the past four years, this is not the first attempt by the ISU to reform the judging in jumps. During the pandemic, an even more revolutionary proposal was made to equalize the cost of quadruple LUTs, Flip and Ritberger, as well as to reduce the cost of triple LUTs. The changes were published in May 2020, but in June they returned the old rules. In light of the fact, that some of the ISU amendments after the 2018 Olympics were clearly inspired by the rentals of Medvedeva and Zajitova, it is logical that the new initiatives also saw the struggle against the dominance of Russian figure skaters. In addition, two years ago Oksana Bale criticized Boliva for the wrong sheepskin coat technique, you can't jump a quadruple sheepskin coat like that. She apparently used the triple axle technique. That's why when they grow six inches tall, jumping doesn't work. Bale had similar claims to the technique of performing Camila's cascades. From this point of view, the amendments regarding the substituted second leg in the cascade can be considered a quiet reproach of Shcherbakova. At the Pan and Kolomenkin Memorial, Alexei Mishin pointed out this feature of Anya in Kiss and Edge to Gleb Lutfalin, also doing a cascade with Ritberger. Strictly speaking, optimization and jumping technique affected not only Shcherbakova and Boliva. With vigilant refereeing, there would be questions for Vincent Zhu, Daniel Grassel, and Alice Liu if she had not completed her career. The strictness of the ISO rules has always been compensated by the non-necessity of their execution. Moreover, it is based not only on loyalty to certain skaters, coaches or federations, but also on the technical impotence of judges. From our camera, the rib was exactly flat or even slightly internal. 
If you look from the top of the arena or from behind, then you can't see the inner rib here. Yaren Prince justifies himself for an error in evaluating Alina Zajatova at one of the Grand Prix stages. The element was repeated on the video cube from a completely different angle, not like ours. And what is it? I look and see the jump is clean, and we have already put an etiquette on it. Well, then the experts are like, oh shit. Well, this happens, and this is his own confession about the judging of Anna Pogorila's rental. In other words, until the ISU adapts figure skating to new technologies, or, at least, does not provide its employees with better repetitions, it is difficult to talk about a global change in judging. In addition, even the discounts currently offered in Go are quite insignificant for the overall assessment, they can be compensated with advantages according to other criteria, as well as the complexity of the set itself. If the four-year-old amendment on the cancellation of bonuses for all jumps in the second half of the program was sometimes called the Zajatova rule, then the ISU innovation on the evaluation of sequences can be renamed the Taktamashiva rule. However, it must first be approved by Congress, this is specifically stipulated in the communique. According to the current rules, the execution of jumps in a sequence is 20% cheaper than a cascade. If the amendment is adopted, the sequence will be evaluated in the same way as any cascade, according to the totality of the base costs of the jumps included in it. And one of the main beneficiaries of this approach is to Tamashiva. Cascades are Lisa's vulnerable spot. Yes, in the short one she makes a triple Lutz, a triple sheepskin coat, but in the arbitrary one after two Trixels there is not enough strength for it, so Tamashiva has to perform an oil cascade with a double axle and a sequence with it. She also had attempts to assemble a set with a more complex cascade in an arbitrary one, for example, at the 2021 World Cup, but the quality of the rental usually changed for the worse. For the crown sequence, the triple Lutz double axle in the bonus zone, Tiktamashiva receives an average of 9.6 points at the base cost of the element of 8.1 points. In the first half of the program, this would bring 7.36 without allowances. If the amendment is accepted, the cost of Lisa's sequence will change to 9.2 10.12 points, depending on the transfer to the bonus zone, and this is before the go accrual. Of course, the new rules will not lead to a complete rejection of the cascades of triple jumps in women's skating. It is impossible to do without them in the short program. In addition, simplifying cascades without compensation with solo ultra C is meaningless in the context of the struggle for high places. However, if Russian figure skaters are not allowed to participate in international competitions next season, the content with sequences will become more competitive. At the last World Cup, for example, Mariah Bell was 2.5 points short of bronze. Most of them she did not take apart just on the sequence of a triple flip and a double sheepskin coat, which brought her at a base cost of only 6.88, comparable to an average triple Lutz. Liberalizing the attitude to sequences will also allow you to see rare combinations of jumps, for example, a combination of a quadruple sheepskin coat and a triple axle which Han Yu performed several times at competitions. According to the current rules, this option is not too profitable, only a few tenths more expensive than a much simpler and more reliable cascade of a quadruple sheepskin coat, a triple sheepskin coat. Finally, changing the rules is beneficial to greenhouses with weak jumps. There are fewer of them in Russia, although the amendments should clearly inspire Panfilova and Rylov, as soon as they recover from injuries, but for the world pair skating, which is in deep crisis, a new approach to sequences can be a good help.